Back in there. Yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Damn, she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm back in that. Hey, hey, where you going? Hey, 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 back in that bag again. Now bring me around your friends. You know that I'm bagging them. Request me on Facebook. I know no, that I you're eager to talk, them. so I will turn the microphone back on. The back, Thanks. That Thanks, Thanks Cooper. <laughs> Calling her friend. Oh, Tell her pull up. Pull Word, up. let's make it a gathering. They love I said, the baby, yeah. nah, I'm mad now, but she's loving the splash again. I just be cashing in her buns. Just like a one in a four days and 24 hours since we've done one of these. But we're back. I mean, it hasn't been that long, has it? No, it was before Christmas, though. Okay. So it's so, been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Last episode was with uh, Leah Bauer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Holy smokes. We've been busy. A lot of yeah. things going on. A lot of things happening. <laughs> yeah, moving and shaking. <laughs> shaking and baking. And we have a guest. Live. Oh, we do. That's right. In studio. In person. Patrick Peterson is here. Hello. The man, the myth, the legend. The man that coined the phrase, it's a lifestyle, bro. <laughs> it is a lifestyle. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to embrace the lifestyle today. <laughs> I think so. It took me four times hearing him say that before it actually sunk in because the first three, I was like, oh, you're right. Man. <laughs> and that memory is gone. <laughs> <laughs> no existing on so. Oh man! But we we brought treats. Everybody's got a everybody's got a bottle. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's pretty good. Yeah. Davis oh, yeah. County. I got tin cup. Fourteen. We found this in Denver. And usually, anytime I'm traveling and I just have a carry on, mm -hmm. I go. Ah, I'll just leave it with everybody or whatever. Mm, this was yeah. really freaking good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, we sat outside of a shady hotel uh, nice. or on their pool that was closed, convinced the front desk lady that she should let us hang out by it and order pizza. Nice. Yeah. And put down some tin cup. And it was delicious. So you took it with. So I checked my bag for <laughs> yeah. sure. I was like, we ain't leaving this. <laughs> no. This soldier is coming home. Which for us, when we travel, usually we don't have enough time to be checking bags or yeah. making flights. Like we have to, <laughs> we really had to plan to be there ahead of schedule <laughs> so that you could check flights. your bag with the bottle of tin cup in it. But oh, it's, yeah. it's made the travels. It's been places. You got here. Oh, Benchmade. Oh, um, hey. From, uh, Shout out to Epic the Benchmade. Three. Oh man, that's right. Yeah, Pat's been around the the block with us. Oh yeah, 2016 was the first time that we crossed paths. Oh yeah, that was the uh, epic one. Was the it? inaugural the epic? One. Here, yeah. you want a glass, Pat? I got a glass for you. Yes. Take, sir. take your fancy. Look at that. Shout right. out to the camera. That's right. That's Shout out. Sense. Thanks, Mark Osman, mm. uh, the raddest shipping department around, and Vile by Design EC made that for me for a gift. Pretty good stuff. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, like, now we'll just... <laughs> we'll just There's a break well, in the action. I mean, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're uh, listening wait, to this on. on audio only, it's probably uh, much less... That's the way to do it. That is absolutely the way to do it. Oh, that smells good. And we yes, just, so this is, I think, the how we do this. We'll yeah. do this. This is how we do. And then I'm just going to pass it to my... Oh, yeah. Left. There we can do that. Oh, so it's, then, yeah. it's, like a, it's like a game. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Cheers. Perfect. Thank All you. right, Pat. Thanks Cheers. for coming on. Yes, absolutely. See you. I was getting into the story about how we first met, and that was, uh, you know, we didn't. One, know. one of these is right in Pat's face. That's oh. right. <laughs> My I'll bad. take it. It's your life through <laughs> a bourbon bottle. I mean, it's <laughs> acceptable. So our first epic Willie's adventure was 2016, and we we left Eau Claire. Pat lives about 70 miles south of us, and we left, I think we left at like 10 a.m., and we broke down, well, everybody made it to the gas station, we were, and we <laughs> were good. rejoicing, that's 600 feet that's down good. the road. That's good. So we were like, all right, we did it, and then we started taking back roads down to Ten or uh, lacrosse, Tennessee, <laughs> pipe dream. <laughs> and we broke down like four or five miles down the road and uh, another guy's y or yard, thankfully, so we had a shop to work on. And then we slowly were, was leapfrogging our way down to uh, lacrosse. And then finally things were going just swimmingly. And what's the, like, the town that you're in? Holman. Holman, that's right. Yeah. So I remember, like, it's a, a weird split because it's two lane and then it's like 
four lane, lane big mm-hmm. road. Yeah, 53 turns finally back into a four lane. Yeah, and it was, uh, well, it was terrifying. <laughs> and I just remember that was when everybody separated. We were trying to be a group, but then all of a sudden we're out. I hear Adam on the radio, it's never ran better. <laughs> and then I lose Famous him. Famous last words. Famous last words. Yeah. And then and then I hear it's toast on the radio when I got caught back up, pulled off the exit ramp, and and I think that you had already you swung around or you saw him. Or- yeah, I mean I I knew of your trip because um, one of my friends is a mutual friend of Will, and so I knew about when you're leaving and what was going on, and uh, plus yeah, so. I was coming back from work. This is like six o'clock. Right. Dark. Remember, it was we getting left dark. like 10 a.m., 70 miles pre- away. It was hmm. definitely dark, and it's not like uh, hmm. a pile of Jeeps <laughs> land. And so I saw you one exit away from my house, and I pulled up. I had the Dodge mm-hmm. at the time, and I kind of jumped out at you guys <laughs> and uh, freaked you out a little bit, at least some of them. <laughs> well, yeah, we're like, who is this guy just <laughs> showing up with a truck and He's got he's, uh, he's got a garage we can work a at. Lift. Well, I, I got, got a trailer. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we you were, were like, write, if you were to write that story a little bit differently, you could write some sort of mass murder horror scene. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. we had no idea. Like, we were just like, I mean, we had a plan. Yeah. Yes. The plan was no plan. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then Don't we die. we just like, instead of going backwards, we decided to go further away, which worked out too. Now that I know you and now that I know your shop, <laughs> that would have been pretty sweet, it would have too. Been, it would have been mm. nice. Well, I mean, you, you still used uh, Dick and Angel's shop down yeah. the cross. I think awesome, you guys cool. stayed on the north side in a nice hotel. Oh, yeah. It was definitely uh, really nice. the shadiest hotel in the cross. Well, uh, uh, that's knocked down now. They used it for uh, homeless. Uh, <laughs> well, let's say it would go the unhoused uh, for a couple uh, of years. Unhoused. Yeah. Uh, so, that uh, makes sense. I think we. I think a. Uh, I think a, a hooker got stabbed <laughs> the Very night possible. before we were there. Very possible. No can, can we say hook? Is hooker okay still, think, or is I that, mean, is that uh, on our podcast? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, no, we don't want to get canceled before we get started. <laughs> lady of the night, I guess. Yeah. 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 Questionable virtues. I don't know. Mm. Well, and then you, and then yeah, we met Angel and Rich Belkey, uh, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. And yep. then. That was she was they made food for us. We oh, had yeah. basically a party in their yard. For sure, yeah. That was definitely Midwest hospitality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, did you did you go to Moab that year? I, I, yeah, I've been there the last 12, 13 years. So yeah, that was. I was leaving pretty much a week and a half after you guys. Yeah. And I still think I got there before you guys. Pretty did. sure you beat us. There. <laughs> yep. But yeah, that was for the fiftieth. Uh, yeah. And seventy fifth. Of Jeep, yeah, Jeep's seventy fifth anniversary yeah. and and Moab's fiftieth, mm-hmm. which was kind of the whole idea behind this Jeep thing. When well, it started just obviously as some buddies doing something yeah. unique, and then it was like, well, let's try to make it a thing, <laughs> and then and you made it to Lagrasse, we made it to Lagrasse, <laughs> hey. and that's when it became a thing because I want to oh, yeah. say overnight we had like seventy five hundred followers oh, of yeah. this because yeah. we we put a post up once we got to the hotel that we needed an engine, yes, and it just the whole Jeep community just wrapped their mm-hmm. arms around us and skyrocketed our news to the top of everybody's feeds. That was also back in when social media was not as saturated, so it was yeah. a little bit easier to make Easy. an impact. Yeah, yeah. Less yeah. algorithm BS to have to mm-hmm. get through. And, yeah. so, and then, what you're, so tragedy yeah. is really what leads to success in the social yeah, media uh, world. Yeah, we've been talking about it for years. Balance, I think, yeah. you know, yeah. like the, uh, the, z- the yin to the potato or yeah. the uh, yeah. wish to the wash or something yeah. like that one in the hand is worth two in the For sure in a glass house or something like that yeah, yeah. right it I was it was ironic how the the you did find a motor yep local yeah uh and then put it in yep ran it down a block it made some noise assumed it was junk yep. and parked it yep and then it was uh, fine oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we go to Moab. Adam throws all his gear in with somebody else. Oh, well, yeah, with uh, Tyler, I think. Yep, yeah. with Tyler and rode on a on the freaking <laughs> the lawn chair, mm-hmm. the tin lawn chair, and then uh, made it made it there. And then I think it was a couple of weeks after we got back from Moab, Adam was like, "Oh, I got to go get my Jeep." So he buzzes down there, and he went like another lap around the block before mm-hmm. he went on the trailer. 
and it quit making noise. <laughs> Come to find out that the head gaskets for those old four cylinders, like there were different, there were different ways that the head gaskets mm. could be made. So the firing was bigger on that, mm. and it just needed to self clearance. <laughs> It's Who probably, knew? It's probably still fine. We ended up having to give that motor back. Yeah. But yeah, that was wild. Yeah. Well, and then it's just been trip after trip. I feel like there hasn't been a lot of wheeling trips since that you haven't been a part of in mm -mm. some way or another. Not, not really. No. No, it's been good. Mm -hmm. It's good because we need Pat's balance in our life. <laughs> sometimes we're walking the straight and narrow a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> we're all clean cut. Well, sometimes you guys get in your own trouble. But you know, we won't talk about that. Sometimes we make our own bad life choices. Uh, yeah. Also, it you're was a part dark of that somehow, somewhere. It was dark. <laughs> and then later it was still dark, yeah. and then it was very, very bright. Sometimes <laughs> people take a different path back to the campground. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Left is how you look at it if you turn your wrist to the other way. Oh, Tell my gosh. Like, <laughs> what, what would you say, Pat? I mean, you've been on how many epics now? Uh, three. It's only three? I thought it was four. Maybe uh, three. I think Border Border, Oregon, and the Concord Cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you did. Oh, wait. oh, you did. Yeah, Border to Border. That's right. Yeah. Oh, this is the fifth one. This yes. is five. Yeah, yeah what? five. Oh, yeah. he's going to ask you. I'm going to ask it now. <laughs> Pat, where are you at? Well, I have to. I have a race in uh, Attica on, on the Phantom way. Weekend. Okay. So. So on the way. Yeah, it's. I feel like if anybody can catch up, though. <laughs> oh, it's old smoky. It's, it's old smoky. I did like, start tearing the, the the transmission apart. Finally, it's been sitting in the back, old smoky, for a while. You've made more progress on a Jeep that may or may not be going on Epic than <laughs> anybody in the confines of this building has. That is for sure going. Oh, yeah. But the yeah, rest... I haven't done shit. My bedroll is still rolled up on Ugh. the back of my... Uh, I'm sure it's not moldy. No, no. I'm sure it's At all. not. <laughs> I'll tell you who's super excited to ride with this guy. This guy. <laughs> yeah. Oof. No, well, let's was, it kind of fired me up because at, at Moab, uh, we hung out with Crown a little bit, so I'm like, yeah. oh, I better just like figure out what I actually need and send Mark a message. Hey. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, and they've been awesome. Parts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're good. So did you figure out what you need yet or almost? Just about all of it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Yeah, definitely. I, wait, just send me bumper to bumper. Yeah, that input uh, bearing uh, grenaded and then wobbled everything. So it just started chewing. Anything that was soft inside that transmission got chewed up. Yeah, that was day that was going up. Uh, yeah, we were, that was the day oh, going up the Mount Washington. The Mount Washington, dude. Yeah. That was hell. Yeah. I, we, we let me hear the story. Either. Let me hear the story from your perspective, <laughs> and then I'll tell the story from my perspective when I when I started climbing up that mountain. Yeah. Well, it was already kind of a longer day. Uh, there was happened to be a brewery right at the final turn. If you remember that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, not Big Sky or something. Sky something. I can't remember the name of it. So yeah. we, we probably hung out there a little too long. So we're on a little bit expedited trip down the road to catch you guys. And everybody's waiting, of course. Uh, and That was the theme this last one. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I, I had already uh, put in some questionable fluids in the transmission two days before that. And by questionable, how questionable? Uh, any oil that I had. Um, <laughs> so I meant to swap that out because I bought oil for it uh on the way and i meant to put that in before going up the hill so instead so of putting got, motor or leaving we, the motor oil the, in the your brewery. transmission yeah. you spent the time at the brewery so mm. i'm like oh, i'll be fine we, i'll do it after we get down whatever well yeah i think i did not have any more fluid left in it again uh so yeah when it bearings don't get the oil Splashed on it. it they didn't like that? No, not on a T90. No. Hey, grumpy. No. A little grumpy. No. <laughs> Dude, our, perspective, our perspective was a little bit different. We're coming. <laughs> we're, we come in. And we were running late, too. So we're like, Ooh. I took a wrong turn when at that brewery. Oh, when, yeah. when I was like, oh, we, it was weird. The road was, it was yes. my fault. <laughs> I should have just hung a right. And then I was like, I think we have to get back on here, go up the ways, and then take a right. Well... <laughs> And I don't read maps all that well. <laughs> so all I said was, hmm. And at that yeah. point, we were already Our turned. Past, and I yeah, was like, yeah. well, fuck it. You know, where, what's the worst that could happen? We end up in Maine. And I think that I did the thing where I was like, 
let me see it. Yeah, okay. And I was just like, we're going. And just gear jamming all the way. And then I was like, you know, when you just get the feeling you're on the wrong way, mm -hmm. it's like mile after mile, I get, I felt more and more lost. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and then all of a sudden it said, welcome to Maine. Mm. And I was like, well, that is not on our route at all. No. Do we get extra points for making it to a state that was not included in this trip? <laughs> yeah. we, we didn't. We should. We didn't. We, should. we definitely didn't. And then we turned around and we were beelining it. And we finally get down to, uh, to Mount Washington, like 25 minutes or so before they closed the, the, oh, yes. the entrance going up. Yeah, there was definitely a hard... Yeah, Stop. like which also now I get it. <laughs> so we start, we get there and we start climbing, and uh, I was kind of in the wrong gear, but then we had our our friend uh, Doc oh, was yeah. he oh, yeah. he didn't know what how to fast and he no. had no idea. Yeah, yeah. so Sean, it instantly. Sean, I love you, buddy. <laughs> but but put your phone down. Yeah. Concentrate on the driving. You know part. how hard it is to mix a drink. <laughs> That's why you have a proper co-driver, yeah. right? Well, he, he already about that. He's already been complaining about that. He, <laughs> that's like the prerequisite to ride next to Sean. Like, oh, I don't care if you're a mechanic, but if you oh, yeah. uh, mix a drink. <laughs> yeah, I need to mix a drink for when we're stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> right. I don't want to be waiting. <laughs> well, we come, and I just see his bumper just gets getting closer and closer mm -hmm. and closer until like... And you can't get off the motor. Then you just lose all of it. You lose yeah. all, all yeah. four momentum, and then your temps start to climb. Mm -hmm. And I, and I needed to try to like downshift two gears and I only got three. And so, <laughs> well, the road's super wide and like oh, plenty yeah. of places to pass. It's pretty straight. <laughs> so, may not have been motorcycle. And then we went through rain, sleet, sun, <laughs> yeah, another cloud, more that, rain. A I would of say motorcycles for, <laughs> in and out of your. Yeah. We've done the continental, we've done a lot yeah. of trips. That was a, one of the nastiest roads. Oh, yeah. It was straight up oh, and. Yeah. 10 feet wide for yes. two vehicles. Oh, yeah. And and so then I try to downshift, and I miss it. And then, <laughs> so now I'm stalled out on the road, and then Adam, is, Comes, I hear yeah. him on the radio, he's like, I'm coming, and then he just, uh, just runs right, right into my bumper. Oh, Wham! But, so then... <laughs> Anyway, so I, I kind of pull over and I regroup, start over. Well, the my momentum's lost. So now yeah. I got to go real slow. I've got, I'm overheating like crazy. Mm -hmm. So we're putzing up and we go around a corner and we go around the next corner. <laughs> we're doing all right. We have to stop every couple, you know, like a mile. And I think we're on mile four and a half or five. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we pull over and we back into this spot on the opposite side of the road. And then you, and I was like, Cooper. He's like, oh, look, there's a waterfall over here. We go over to look at it. I'm like, Cooper, do you hear that? Mm. And we just just hear the like the whining of gears. Like, <laughs> and then the rubber yes. of the tire flapping the road. And we're like, what the fuck is that? And then he, we look he, up. We are, he he uh, switched uh, yeah. the E mode. <laughs> yeah. You guys were definitely in your eco mode. Oh, yeah. Uh, Elon was proud of that moment. Backing down, down oh, yeah. the mountain oh, yeah. with really no brakes, no brakes to speak of. None. The transmission certainly wasn't helping Not, anybody I out. could not stop it physically. Oh. The only thing I had was the brakes. There's no e-brake. Yeah, on there. that's been and the brakes not there. get hot, and so I just see it like zigzagging down this mountain. And in a wagon is really easy to see out of, just yeah. as good as a pickup truck. Yeah, tinted, yeah. tinted windows. We were and... almost to the top when that let loose. Oh my god! And we had to go down at at least two miles backwards. Oh my god! Yeah, the in first the rain. time you hear that noise, feels like oh, I wonder if I'm like. That's one of ours. Like, I, <laughs> there's no other question that it's somebody else. This is one of ours. We just got to figure out who's coming. Oh, look at this. Well, I, I decided I was going to win, win that one. So oh. I went by people pretty quick. Yeah. The very bottom. And we were cruising pretty good. And then I just let loose. Well, and, and then you, when you backed up, you were able to then yeah. at least nose, nose down. Yeah, which, was, which helped. And you coast all the way. I think yeah. you coasted even halfway up the hill on the other side. You oh, just yeah. kept cruising. Oh, yeah, I had to. I just like waved like, by the people that were trying to make me stop. The guard just, shack. Like, I got <laughs> hey. it as far as I can. <laughs> I'm immobile for... Yeah. In it, I will be immobile <laughs> really quick. I'm just got to do one of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was a fun little uh, rip, but didn't last long. No. No. Yeah. And then you then you had the opportunity to ghost ride it on the back of a trailer. Well, yeah, there was only so much room in the uh, recovery vehicle since mm. there was three vehicles on the trailer <laughs> at the time. 
so, a tough day. So we chose the ride, uh, you know, in there. It's good. Yeah. It's nice. Like a little traveling bar. <laughs> Got our own music, you know. I mean, that, fine. yeah. yeah. And when I, at first, I was like, he's crazy. And then I was like, oh. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of sensibility in crazy, I think. <laughs> if only they had more room on that trailer, yeah. we could find a way to get out I feel out like there. that was the eye of the hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. It, mm. was, it was an interesting one. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's a riot. So... Yeah. You said race. Tell us a little bit about the the whole race. Yeah, so uh, Just learn ultra, a little more about yeah, that. Yeah, Ultra Four uh, racing. I've been doing that for six years now, and uh, this that race that I'm talking about before Bantam or right at Bantam is uh, in Attica, Indiana, the Badlands. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's uh, a fun little park, and uh, I'm so I should be at a race right now in Kentucky. Um, but the car's not quite done, fixed yet. Yeah, and, talk, let's talk yeah. a little bit about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I had first a, of all, yes. what class do you race? Uh, it's the unlimited class, the 4400. All right, so the big so dogs. The big dogs. Hang on. Um, right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, I did some road racing and stuff before, and uh, when I got into this, you know, most people do start out in the lower classes, kind of build up, and it's quite an investment. And money, and uh, I figured I might as well just go out. You know, I'm not quite going into it blind. And, you know, I, and it took about three years to find the right car that I could actually physically fit in that's already built um, and start racing. So that's what I did about six years ago. And I'm, you know, just like everybody else, I'm year three into building my new car. Right. So that's what happens. Everybody wants a race. They start building their car, and it, they just – it just always something comes up mm-hmm. and you never actually get to race. So, uh, I've learned that lesson a long time ago to just, you know, make something work, figure out what you like, what you don't like, bite the bullet, bite the bullet, jump in with it. both feet yep. and then tweak along the way yeah. with something else. Yeah. Cause you'll, once you're in it, cause you could build, take three, four years to build something and hate it. Right. After you get in, like, man, I should have done that differently. Right. You know? yeah. uh, I shouldn't have wasted it was time. a waste, but it was a yeah, waste. That was a big waste of money to do that. You right. know? Uh, so it's good to just get into it and, and do it. Um, I don't do a lot of the regional races. I, the the main race regionally I do is Crandon, Crandon you know, yep. in the fall, uh, which is, they've been doing that for a number of years. Uh, now it's part of the series, which is nice. And, and what they, is the series now? Because I feel like it used to be like Crandon. And then out west. Yeah, it was a lot out west, but it's, so it kind of went through a morph the last couple of years. Uh, Mid America Outdoors bought it uh, a couple of years ago, and they're based out of Jay, Oklahoma. So okay. uh, everything kind of went Midwest quite a bit, a uh, handful of uh, West Coast races, which was nice um, for a lot of people, but the core group of Ultra 4 racers were West Coasters. I mean, that's just where where it kind of was born and so it, i think now with uh, mid-america backing away from that um and now uh dave cole and uh, kind of t- bringing up taking it back over that's going to turn it into something else they want to make it into more of a mom- member run organization so he's going to run it for a couple years and then uh it's going to be i think they want it more like you know the pga or F1, and, you know, we yeah. have a group of owners, uh, team owners that kind of dictate what's going on and run it by committee so it's not just an individual basically losing money on the regional races because it's, <laughs> right. that's, that, that you don't make money there. Uh, it's it's hard uh, for viewership, people to go watch on those races, unless they're a short course like Crandon yep. where there's good spectator you're not going to get 50,000 people watching a race where they see them for 12 seconds and then (laughs) wait eight minutes before they come back. You know, it's just, yeah, that's not interesting enough, you know, and you, then you had doing jumbotrons and they might as well just stay home, you know, whatever. So it's mostly friends, family, crew that are watching usually at those races. So they're just not a moneymaker. So unless you figure out a way to monetize the viewership, uh, that's the only way that's going to work. And I think Dana that's, White, are you hearing this? Yeah, that's basically it. That's Papa, how Papa Dana. Yeah, but, for sure. But that's, I think that's the goal is to say, stop giving away the content. 
Yeah. And uh, you have to buy I'd rights pay, to I'd pay do for it. it. Yeah. You, you know, know, like. Yeah. And I've and I've been out to Hammers. We'll get to that in a minute mm-hmm. too. But like I've been out there, and I'll tell you what. Like even last year, I was out there. Mm-hmm. But then the big race day, I was home. Yes. And I was watching it. I was glued to it. But yeah, like right. I was watching it on my phone. And if that was whatever, 1999 for mm-hmm. the day. Oh, yeah. I'm in. Oh, yeah. That's that. That's And it's uh, they do a really good job with the content, uh, especially the added with the drones. Uh, they get, you know, the guys that do the Red Bull the stuff. It's and everything phenomenal. Else. It's, Ooh, it's really, really good. good. It's so that's that's what I think. You know, uh, going forward, if we mm-hmm. want this series to keep going and keep growing, that's probably the way it has to go. Or you're not gonna, you're just gonna start piggybacking off established races like the Baja 1000s and other things, and just not, you know, rely on your own individual race where you're renting a track and right. doing all that stuff. I just don't think it's feasible. So, I mean, so it's in flux right now. We'll see what happens. Um, so that's why I'm trying to support a little bit. Yeah, that's on cool. It, you know, because it's we're kind of in this hybrid state, and yeah. there's there's a lot of guys that are just getting out of it because they're just you know there's a big investment <laughs> and yeah, doing it, right. and now they're like, well, I don't know, and and sponsors, you know how sponsorship and manufacturers and, and you know the industry is all these hedge funds buy 15 products and. So you just so those sponsorship dollars don't get spread out to everybody, you know. Right. So the guys that rely on that just, I don't think it's gonna work. Have you know? seen that a lot in, in Ultra Four with with sponsorship and the dollars and the and the product and stuff? Oh, I feel, I yeah. just feel like even in our in our arena, oh, like yeah. the uh, here we're building this. Like let's let's do something cool, a, a partnership of some sort, mm-hmm. whether it's with, you know shocks or struts or anybody tires all of it yeah. it's all been like those contacts are gone the industry has changed where the the contacts that have been there forever are no longer there is it the same is it become the kind of the it same is, in i mean the 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 traditional companies that would advertise an off-road have dwindled down hmm. and if they are the ones that are still surviving the series will be that's where they're going to sponsor why right. spo- why risk it on a guy or a group of people you just put it into the series get your name on it um sure there's some you know tire manufacturers or wheel manufacturers that you know they'll just give product hopefully get their right. their product out on the winning guy or girl or whoever um but other than that you know the you know the transmission guy is yeah. probably not going to do it you know uh well, i've seen that too it's almost not to blame covid for more shit but yeah. I, I, we probably should why not? Because why not? It's an I easy, like it. It's an easy <laughs> scapegoat. Fuck it. Blame it. Well, oh yeah, we got a past shift. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I don't know. he's yeah. down one. I, oh, yeah. I I've seen it I'm with fucking up the rotation, as Snoop Dogg would say. <laughs> I've seen it with. Oh, uh, I mean, even like you're like your your credit card statement, right? You're yeah. you're using that to like uh, run. I use it like ours to run our business. But yeah. if we have a slow month, I don't see that. In the month that I'm slow, Correct. I'm good. Yeah, four or five months later, and I and it's like, oh, you know, all that stuff that I was rolling forward for sure. And I think that that was because because uh, COVID was COVID, and it was weird. But during COVID, and even into the next year, like everybody was like, oh yeah, it's bad. I think, mm-hmm. but everybody was still going pretty gangbusters, trying to yeah. And then and then it started to slow down because of the supply chain, and it was. Yeah. And there, it wasn't really a recovery point yet. It was like, this is the current issue. So then we were struggling with uh, getting product. People were still swapping product oh, yeah. for content yeah. during that, even though they couldn't get it. Mm. Well, now I feel like a lot of the supply chain is fixed, but now we're repairing the holes in the in the sales. Yeah, from I think that. I think the the main factor in that is COVID, not just on the supply chain part. But everybody and their grandmother decided to become an influencer because they're stuck at home. Yeah. So now when you go on, mm-hmm. you know, any of the platforms, there's so much out there yeah. that it doesn't make sense for someone to just say, hey, well, you know, I know that that's going to show up and someone's going to see it. Right. Because there's so much out there now. So you have that to added effect that 
there's millions and millions of more people adding content than there were before. Yeah. Other yeah. than just businesses and people that were into it. Right. You know? The one guy pees in the ocean, it's no big deal. Yeah. Everybody pees in the ocean. Oh, yeah. it's, absolutely. We, 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 Smell that? It's weird. Yeah. Jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now, now they just, oh, they take someone else's and just put music to the back of it. And Right. <laughs> It's like you don't even know who's making the content anymore. Well, yeah, so, we we struggle with just, that on the, like no. on the marketing side, yeah. um, and just watching the way it all evolves. And I think that there's a, there's a place for all these influencers, and I think that it's great. Um, it definitely helps build the brand, but then it yeah. makes everybody question how the marketing. It really makes it tougher to quantify the type of marketing, like. Correct. Uh, product and, and we, we've seen brands that are not that they're stepping away from the influencer marketing aspect of it, mm -hmm. but they're definitely trying to keep a closer eye on that. Cause you're right during the 2020, 2021, even into 2022, mm -hmm. it was throw shit at people yeah. that have a hundred thousand followers or more. Yeah. And it'll be great. Cause then our product will be in front shit, of all 20, these people. Or more. Yeah. yeah. You and, know, but now they're like, well, how do I know? And I have no problem with, pretty girls dancing around their vehicles. Mm -hmm. Like, it's great. Like, yeah. kudos to you. That's awesome. Right. But I don't know exactly how that sells you <laughs> tires. Right. I don't, and I think, I think some brands have gotten hip to that. Like, well, wait a minute. As right. great as this yeah. is for the viewer, yeah. right. end game for them is the ROI. And their ROI in a, you know, $1,500 worth of tires is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the, the pretty girl should be under your brand. Right. You shouldn't be yeah. like if that was your marketing strategy, right? Because um, they're only looking out for their brand and yeah. they're building out their brand. And if you don't give them the tires, somebody will give them a wrench set or somebody oh, yeah. will, Absolutely. they'll get the next whatever. Absolutely. I mean, it's we could get into the philosophical and the sociology of this. <laughs> Tell on, me what sells on the, on the human nature of it all. Wait, you, people don't like that anymore. Uh, oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, they, also, yeah, they definitely don't like that yeah, anymore. I'm pretty sure uh, there was a girl involved with Cain and Abel. Let's just be clear. Uh, potentially. <laughs> I should have to go back and read that one again tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to start at the beginning after this podcast. <laughs> Uh, the alpha and the omega. That's right. The beginning and the end. Yeah, it is wild. It's cool to hear that you're going to support them. I know I'm giving you a lot of a lot of grief for not being uh, on Epic on the first day, yeah. but I'll be. Oh, that's all right <laughs> if you show up on day two. Yeah. Catch up by I Tuesday. I mean, We're I'm good. sure I'm sure the family would not mind me gone for a couple of weeks. You know, again. <laughs> Yeah. Straight. You no. know, just add another week to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're good. Do you get a look? Because I, I this is this will be my third. Yeah, yeah, and now I'm get, I'm starting to get the look like oh, now you're you're gonna you're leaving again. How long? Uh, yeah. Ten days, which is really like twelve to fifteen. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta travel all. Well, we broke down. <laughs> Things happen. Uh, why can't you guys uh, do this in modern jeeps? Yeah. Well, there's, there's the, and there's that's why a lot of some of the participants bring their spouse or yeah. significant yep. other just because kids. That's well, well bring the kids vacation. You know, that's they won't be exposed to anything of question. <laughs> yeah, Jackson, what is that over there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, also <laughs> throw a stick. Yep. <laughs> uh, we I learned so many new words on this trip. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it's not. I mean, he's what now? Jackson's gonna be thirteen. Yeah. He's got. He's, he's fine. fine. He's fine. He's yeah, fine. it is yeah. what it is. He's, it's it's cool. Steve's got bringing his kid. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. I think nice. sixteen now. Or yeah, he got, got his driver's license. license. Yeah, yeah, he's got to be sixteen. So yeah. they'll be swapping driving, which nice. will be kind of cool. Nice. Him and Jax? No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Depends on how it goes. Right. Uh, Phil kicks me off the trip out of the Jeep at least once a trip. He's like, ah, anybody else want the passenger seat? I'm like, man, if I have to ride with Sean, we're not going far. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look for the first neon sign, bud. Right. We'll uh, we had that going. conversation last night. We had our Epic Willie's call. Mm. And yes. Sean was on there. We, well, he showed up late to the call. Weird. As yeah, you said, like, that. well, we're just going to wrap things up. Everybody can get back to the night and shabloop. Yeah. Then there's Sean. Sean Annis pops has in. popped into the Oh, meeting. you know, it was going to be just fine. And then, like, I saw people rolling into the pub and I was like, it's fine. And then uh, they, more people, but it's fine. And, and then, you know. Uh, really? People showed up at dinner time to come to your strange. bar restaurant? I don't understand that. <laughs> that Thursday. That makes sense at all. That was weird. The sun was out. I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah, he's a good dude. But he always made it to camp. I mean, you yeah. all did. I mean, you, yeah. well, you didn't. 
Yeah. Always. I mean, you well, did. Well, I did. I was. I made it actually past camp that <laughs> right. day. We had to backtrack to camp. You're right. That's true. So, oh. yeah. No. No. Well, yeah. Wait a minute. Good. We pulled. We were part of. I don't know. We, I don't know if we pulled you, but we were part of the pulling. Because didn't we pull into the wrong camp? Yes. And then yes. we went down yes. this like little frontage road. To where there was no, no way space to turn to, around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yes. we got a toe strap trying to drag mm-hmm. Pat's. But yeah, let's go backwards now <laughs> yeah. and then go forwards. Yeah, I believe oh. Danny was driving yep. the Gladiator at the time. Yep. I believe. Because Robin so, had given up the ghost. Yep. That Robin had a rough life Oof, yeah. on yeah. that one. A short life. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was rough too, but it really yeah. it was short. <laughs> it was if short it was a longer life. life, it would have been really nice. rough. Yeah. But thanks. Is uh, Robin I'll... making the trip again? Or well, no? I was just or talking was to Skyler out there somewhere. So it's in the weeds. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so a lot of work's been done. Oh yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Perfect. No. It was moved from those weeds to a different set nice. of weeds. It's well, we traveled. brought the Danny brought the transmission down to Austin, and Austin rebuilt it for okay. us. So I think he's bringing that up next week. Gotcha. Which, I mean, he's got to be the most particular. <laughs> You've seen his posts. That guy, like, he's been micing out everything. And oh, yeah. yeah. Even, like, I'm like, well, I don't know. This is 90 years old. It's probably fine. Good to the go. The thing doesn't run normally. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. what is it anything is better I mean, than normal. Didn't the, yeah. didn't the distributor, like, wiggle in yeah. that thing? So, yeah. 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 So, I, I'm sure. It, to that's be, gonna his, be his workspace is always very clean too. You ever notice <laughs> everything is just lined up, right. tools yeah, are laid all out clean, perfectly. It's laid out perfectly. And like, yeah, that's no, actually too guy, nice for this vehicle. Yeah. No, like, please, no. I need you to dirty it. I'm gonna just dump some dirt in It'll the be transmission fine. before yeah. I install it. But I was talking to Skyler, he's our, our new fab dude. Gotcha. And uh he's got he, he was out in uh Vegas, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, yep, met him. So he's we're hoping he's gonna uh oh jump on board and he had a wedding a buddy's wedding or something so yeah hmm. people get married all the time that's what I, that's the way i look at it i mean so, yeah. you know is it his first one there'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. be more it's fine <laughs> uh. standards <laughs> oh man i think it's time for a cigar oh i've oh, been staring doing... at this thing i know i saw you looking i that's been a while here <laughs> he's moving it with his hand like are we gonna do this I don't know which one I want though. Uh, thanks, uh, Revolution Gear and Axle for the. That's right. You bet. <laughs> Here you go. Get in there. Mm. Find something. Yeah, get the that. Alma Fuerte. Maybe I'm more Spanish. I feel more Spanish when I say things. Like that. How about your cigar mm-hmm. cutter, Pat? Sure can. Thanks. Well, if you're well, listening to this audio, yeah. pause and enjoy the sound yeah. effects of yeah, cigar opening life. So, yeah, we'll see uh, how I can uh, push that. We'll see if... Uh, I, I'm surprised Sean is going to have his rig ready. Uh, doesn't he have something going on? Did he? Maybe maybe his shit's working. I don't think he has a brake problem. I'm pretty he, sure. said, he said something about... Uh, I got my new injectors for the LS... So yeah. it's fine. Uh, he did not do that, <laughs> but but something about a turbo. I think he's. But I'm pretty he sure he just said a whole bunch of words in a row. I'm pretty sure he still has some kind of brake related issue with it. I want to say, but or he just doesn't understand that those brakes are just dog shit to begin with. Uh, yeah, like it's just gonna be horrible. Well, I haven't had brakes since border to border. Hmm. Uh, well, I just not, put, not I just on put the, my foot out and stop us. Not on the first pump, anyways. It, it's fifth or sixth. Well, uh, the last, um, the Concord Cup, do you remember um, basically our very first hard T turn that we had where you're coming down a hill? It's like a blind turn, and there's a big T, like, and it's pretty like right busy when, road. Right when we left really, Yes, yeah, so really busy road. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he's following us. Yeah, the blind, yeah. And we come across, and obviously I'm, we're slowing down. He's Sean likes to be on his phone, and even though well, you know whatever, yeah, I know we don't need to draw attention. to Absolutely. That. Well, he, he he's he's trying to make sure he's getting his uh, pictures for some reason of the <laughs> the like he's gonna have a train pop out or something, so he can get the extra <laughs> Ulan points or something. 
I don't know whatever he's doing, but he comes and he always like, had a phone to lock up in the box. Man, yeah, it's like yeah. it's weird. somebody oh. told him a life hack. There is something. There's maybe. a way you can do that. I don't burner know. phone, dude. There you gotta is. get the burner phone. There <laughs> is. Uh, but yeah, he obviously did not do it, and he had to try to lock it up, and that's when he kind of jammed. I think he tried to engine break it, and that's I, uh, when he popped past the the tolerance of the shifter <laughs> whoops, and locked. See, and that see. that was our first you know official had to fix it stop and pull it apart and put it back together but and that was 20 minutes in oh yeah well we it was probably 30 minutes because we stopped at a bar already <laughs> before that <laughs> Jeff, fluid check That's oh yeah right. it definitely stopped at the concession fluid. stand yeah, inside of the sure bantam grounds real quick a little quick bloody mary <laughs> eggs, checking you know. the fluids but yeah that was so so yeah he's so he definitely uses his brakes a lot. He needs solid brakes. So. Yeah. So other than that, his his car, his truck goes pretty good. I just got to fix my intake issue. Yeah, everything else well, is... For my yeah, exhaust. Yeah. The, the, so the, the, so the, yeah, the... What, what, what'd you have? A coat hanger holding it on? <laughs> no, right it, was, it, was, it was... Well, it was the coat hanger that was taken to use as a replacement for the comms antenna oh the antenna that yes. we cut off to use to hold oh yeah that's right manifold in place i forgot that was in the catskill <laughs> mountains we hit <laughs> all right so <laughs> we have uh i had an exhaust leak and that was the night that you trailered in after uh mount washington no we got through Mount Washington because the I very next day we went I, down to that whatever it was down in Massachusetts. Yes, that that car quest, and then we stayed at like that, like I don't know, salvage yard kind of guy that had all the fire trucks. Oh yeah, yeah, the guy okay. With one that was all that, right. that was all the that same was, day. That was the the salvage yard guy was the guy when yeah I had to pull mine in and we ended up brazing. I blew an exhaust gasket out mm. and I brazed it all shut. And then, oh, that's right. You made that like, you know, that bee's nest comb thing over everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is fine. And then, and that held up. That held up for a couple of days because that was in. Yeah, but the smell. It's fine. Almost killed us. <laughs> almost killed you. It got real fucking quiet. And we're like, I'm like, are you feeling okay? And he's like, I'm fine. That was in, we were by Ticonderoga, mm, New York. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, we drove to, that was when we drove to Mount Washington. Mm. And that was when the uh, exhaust gasket blew out again. And then we got to wherever, Gorham, Massachusetts, I think it was. And, and they had this like muffler cement stuff, but like super high temp. And they, all, they ordered it in for me. And I was like, yeah, this will work. <laughs> <laughs> and but I made like where has a, this been my whole life? I made a cast out yeah, of it. Oh yeah, it looked, yeah. I wrapped yeah, it like all. a wasp. It looked like a wasp nest. <laughs> yeah, what it looked like it was quite. Yes, it was pretty creative. <laughs> it's pretty artistic. Yeah, yeah. I channeled my inner sculptor, <laughs> and uh, and so then, well, I actually turned it into a forge because then the next day we were buzzing from Gorham, Mass, down to Pennsylvania through the Catskills, and we're going up and down, and it's, I mean, it's running. That's when my when Amos tends to it just loves the mountains and yeah, it's just and it's going. running good. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this is great. Just zipping around, having a time of my life. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I we were coming down a hill and I went hit. Did downshift. you say that? Did you actually say that right before this happened? <laughs> I, I don't know, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure I was like, Cooper is the best to ever run. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden it was just bah! and I was like, oh, Oh, no. And Seems I, much louder than usual. I get on the comms. I'm like, Adam, because Adam and I were running today, and like Adam oh, and I hadn't yeah. ran all trip. That might have been, was that your buddy day? I, that was I the buddy day. Make, the, I didn't quite make that one. The long, the long run buddy day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Adam, this is, uh, I think we need to, I think I need to pull over. <laughs> well, what had happened was this whole bee's nest had superheated all of the exhaust pipe underneath it. And it had gotten so hot that it literally just melted everything. <laughs> and so then I looked underneath the hood and the, the exhaust pipe was just hang just <laughs> flopping there and there was nothing to attach it to other than it looked like like a melted plastic. <laughs> and I was like, that's cast iron. I didn't even know this is possible. So then like I got underneath there and it was so hot. 
and you could like push it up and like the the melted moldiness mm-hmm. like it could it kind of like seemed together put back in yeah, yeah. Mm. it's kind of like a busted eggshell and you're like well like that <laughs> that fits pretty good you put humpty nice. dumpty back together again well that's what we were trying to figure out how are we going to hook this together and we ended up doing it like a snowmobile we did we found a uh, an antenna, yeah. like or a coat hanger that was yes. up in the antenna, pulled that off because we d- didn't really. I'd rather be able to drive, yeah. drive, yeah. and not have my ears bleed than talk to people. So we just made a bunch of J hooks, yeah, and then wedged it together. And I mean, it was really <laughs> loose, and it caught maybe forty five percent of the yeah. sound. So like, it was a little bit quieter, but I still had, still had to put tissue paper. In my ears, underneath mm. my uh, my headphones, because oh, it was ear splitting. I was like, it was loud. It was, it was loud. I don't. I've been to. I've been real close at rock concerts. Real close. And that was that, loud. That, that, was, that loud. was louder than that. Even, even with the muffs. Yeah. Oh, even yeah. with the muffs on. So what'd you like? Cotton your ears or? I cotton oh, yeah. my ears and put the muffs yeah. on. Yeah. And that still was like. I was like, uh, there. It got towards the end of that day, and I was just mad. No. Yeah, just it was like a torture. It, did, it was torture. Like you could have just, you could have breathed on mm-hmm. me wrong, and I would have just wanted to, you know. <laughs> oh, I was so mad. And that was the night that Danny, I think, no, no, was that the night Danny blew up? No, Danny had already blown up. Danny got it back running, and that was the day that Danny. We did the ice cream stop. Mm. Yeah, uh, and then t- Danny tried his hardest to limp home to that that campground oh yeah and, uh, yeah, Viva, and then, Viva yeah, it mexico started raining little, yeah, mexico, started raining. little mexico little mexico, little mexico. that's yeah. right oh, yeah. which would have been a super cool campsite had we a been there before dark and b it hadn't been pouring ass rain and oh. didn't have to tow danny after <laughs> his drive up a shaft. hill and up a hill when his drive shaft went <laughs> yeah, oh yeah ingrained in the concrete yeah full vault Pole vaulting. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was wild. <laughs> yeah. So, needless to say, we loaded it on a trailer, we brought it back home, and then I haven't adjusted Nothing. anything. Awesome. We Perfect. got like so, a month and a half, it's fine. I know, mm. I think, well, yeah, and I've been struggling with this stupid back issue, so I'm like, well, I just got to fix it now, because <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I want to, we got the CNC plaza up and going, so I'm going to make nice. two plates. And I'm gonna get really thick springs and do it just mm. like a yeah. snowmobile. Yeah, so it just has a little has a little bit a little of give. Give, yeah. That it won't be too stressful on it, yeah. you know, or mm. it has to like. Break. I mean, this is not the first time you've repaired this. Oh no, this is I, <laughs> every time. Every time. Every time. So yeah. might as well. Right. Semi permanent. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like we all got. <laughs> well, that, that was that was the conversation right after <laughs> Epic last year was like, well. At least we got time. I know we're doing it again <laughs> next year. I le- I'll have a I'm timeline. I'm going to do X, I'm gonna Y, get everything and Z. Done. Oh, yeah. oh, we're doing a moonshine run. I'm going to cut it in half. We're <laughs> oh, going to yeah. make it a low rider. It's going to be badass. Oh, yeah. It's in the that. shed. We <laughs> made it to the shed. Yeah. yeah. The Price has got good ideas for our interior design in Old Smokey. And it's supposed, ah. to be up, it's supposed to be up at his dad's place uh, a long time ago. But like I said, I just started working on the transmission. So, it'll, it, that's yeah. how that works. Yeah. Hey, uh, here's the dimensions. Make what you can make to fit. I don't yeah. care if it's with a hot glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm, I'm envisioning. You know, I don't know if you remember, like back in the like late '80s, those wall dock like wood. Oh yeah, I had yeah. one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Like conversion van style. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the shagging yes. wagon. Yeah. Lamborghini Panawagon. Lamborghini Panawagon. Yeah. Sapphire blue. Ooh, boy. <laughs> But he 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 really wants to do uh, uh, bucket seats. I don't think he likes my nice little bench seat where we can Man. slide yeah, up can next snuggle. to each other. Oh yeah, you yeah. can definitely right. it gets cool. get cuddled up right. in there for sure. So I'm still fighting him on that one, but we'll see what happens. It's mostly for cup holders because we use uh, boots for the like, cup holders, <laughs> which work really yeah. great. Yeah, or, it works perfect. Why are we changing things? I don't know. I yeah. don't, it's worked for years. That's right. Well, Oh, that's too funny. So we'll see what, uh, what, and I, well, I know what's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> At least you have your expectations. I, I know about pipe right dreams. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. No and and you know, the race car is still on the, on the lift anyway. So there's nothing going on there for a while. So 
Well, so you just got to get the parts and do yeah. it the night before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we do oh, it yeah. to ourselves, and then I realize that it's actually because we like that. Yeah. It's part of it. You know, I think just... that we would be like, no, 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 I don't like that. Well, then you would not do that. It's, yeah. I mean, we just if, like to if, do if, things. If, if I was back to like only having one fun vehicle they ever had to deal with, then yeah, you, you, sure, you'd have that thing Spend dialed in one. and yeah. perfect and clean. I got, I got to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know if the Epic Willys Jeep would be the one that would make it. <laughs> If, if you had a choice, if we well, were doing like know. a random that, but cut, I'm just saying, if, would but you choose? That's kind of what in another timeline. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm like, I just don't know. Is this like the multiverse? Like, yes. if I lived in a different <laughs> universal time frame, I would definitely choose the Willies. Well, everybody's given me that grief about that stuff for years, man. Because like, I'm the same thing. Like, I jump from uh, project to project to project, or like, I'm just into a lot of things. Or events, like, yeah. events just happen. Like, like I, I love. I love overlanding. I love rock mm -hmm. crawling. Yeah. I love th like this whole Willys thing. Yeah. Like I love all of it. I don't want to stop. Shit. I bought a Bronco. Like, yeah. Absolutely. I just, I just like driving things and I like experiencing the different people in the events. So I'm not a guy that would be like, well, today I'm going to take the carb off and adjust it and then put it back on. And it, then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you're, you're home and that's what you got to do on the weekends. No, you know, no, I'm so, gonna thrash on that bitch yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all night long, and I'll make it there. Yeah, right. yeah. and I don't know. That's it, it. Allows me to be able to do more things. Yeah, and experience more things because I think I need that for me, anyways. Yeah. Just to like what you don't need is to fix that shit. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, uh, that uh, sounds easy. Just, just about every vehicle I have, I fix it right before the trip. I usually mm -hmm. break something, and then it waits until the next time mm -hmm. I need it. Mm -hmm. uh, DC is still sitting there without a, a fuel tank. Uh, both brake lines are broke and uh, shocks broke. <laughs> it's this, been sitting there for two years that way. This has been the because that was on uh, my last trip to uh, Gilbert. Was it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so this has been here. the great like uh, we invited for the first time last year on Epic people from outside of the yeah the OG circle and then as yeah. the circle expanded into like. You look like you would make poor life choices. Come yes. with us. So you have like... And then people are like, please <laughs> sign me up. I would love to do this. So you, you yeah. open it up to the public and the public gets involved. All their shit is ready to go. They're like, ah, it I'd probably clean yeah, the... Totally put dialed. Some, put some Rain-X on, but I'm good to go. <laughs> Feels like... Check the tire pressure. Yeah. Right. We got to dial that in. That's hey, adorable. Probably... <laughs> You have tire <laughs> pressure? What's that? I didn't check it last time. Yeah. I just drove. I'm like, it still has pressure. I'm just like, whatever the pressure was. was they're yeah. all dialed in. Which, they're fucking ready to go tomorrow. Uh, oh, yeah. Give it give it to Yokohama. Like, those, I just felt oh, like set those, it and forget those it. wheels were prepped and cleaned up. <laughs> no. It was, that rubber was slapped on there. Yeah. Dirty. And it's held air. Since 2018. Since 2018. Yeah. <laughs> That's a testament, right? But we there. love that. We love all Write of our that new down, <laughs> Paul Algarin. We love all of our new, the newbies. Oh yeah, <laughs> ready yeah. to go, man. No, and it's cool. Enthusiastic. Well, and like even we were on the call last night, and uh, we started to kind of get the jive mm -hmm. with everybody. We're a little bit of camaraderie and, and BS, and some of the guys that you know when they were on their first call a few months ago, you could tell that they were like timid. And yeah. and in my brain, I'm like, they've got to be like, what the hell what did, the I fuck did I just this sign up dumb. for? This is like, no. and now they're just like, okay. they're laughing yeah. at our jokes or whatever, <laughs> and some of the, and I just, I was like, you know, I'm looking forward to sitting around the fire at the end of the night, yeah. and like just sharing the stories of the day. How is that? I usually didn't make it there for that. <laughs> it's pretty but good. This new format was sitting around is pretty nice. Else. I don't understand. <laughs> I the, bar say, the bartender the, the, was telling the me her story. The format is a lot more <laughs> relaxing. Oh, yeah. Oh, because yeah. it's like, oh, well, when we get here, we get here. We know what to expect. And then and then we do have that time to chill. And then yeah. the, the fact that there's food, that's pretty that's, great, too. Well, the, I don't know if you got... Did you get any of the food? You got some of the food. Uh, breakfast once. <laughs> some <laughs> leftover hot dogs from movie night. We oh, usually sleep next, in, you know. Yeah. We're, not, we're not we're going to leave last, so... Um, but there does have to be at some point. There's got to be. I don't know. It's epic ten, but there's got to be OG back to yeah. not knowing where you're going to end up. Yeah, probably going to actually get dysentery. Might not shower for the week. We talked yeah. about that. Yeah, I mean, 
Do you, Probably do you, lose a finger. Do you remember, you know, the Oregon Trail? Right. I mean, when you're running in that line on mm-hmm. these back roads, uh, there's some danger there because people will get impatient, obviously, and want to pass. Now, at least with this, we're spread out, you know. We, yeah. We had our little buddy system with Sean, so we kind of took care of him the whole time. And then when I was broke, then he had a latch you're on, on your own, your own But it worked out. It was like that yeah. progression of growth, yeah. right? Yeah, he, and now he, is your right of passage, good. my like, son. Yeah. Yeah. Now you yeah. can do it on your own. Absolutely. Right. Well, one of my favorite quotes that we would hear over the radio on uh, on 3 on, on Oregon mm-hmm. Trail was, Got another horny one coming up behind us, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pat on the comms. Oh, yeah. Another one. Oh, he's getting real horny now. He's oh, right up my oh, tailpipe. Yeah. yeah, because, well, I for years, I'd have to be in the very back because Old Smokey did smoke and well, people would Yeah, not. that name was uh, well well given. Yeah, yeah. Before, was the, before the motor fix, uh, it definitely was, well, going back to when you said you had the, the, the wasp nest mm-hmm. smell, uh, we've yeah. realized quickly on the first one that we had to have the back window open how did you realize that uh well we had in that trip we had three people in the car and in the back seat we had a nice little lounger chair back there oh yeah yeah, yeah that when that person stops talking <laughs> after it's a while because they're just taking and you're a nap. like man they, so yeah and then they don't want to wake up for a while you, you gotta yeah yeah, we learned. Yeah, you need. Well, oh, get the fresh air quick. <laughs> so apparently, he's dying. <laughs> Asphyxiation is a real thing. Uh, uh, he was fired. Carbon monoxide. To be honest, he didn't even know what happened. Yeah, so right? it's, not yeah. Even a, it's not even a fear None for the worst you. For also, way. it's a good thing you woke up because you <laughs> wouldn't have known that you passed. You know, we yeah, would have weakened at Bernie's. You. Apparently, he just falls asleep peacefully. I guess. Right. Yeah. So it's fine. Also, if there's a way to go. Right. That's not a bad way to go. <laughs> and Pat and and Price would have totally like weakened at Bernie's that and just like, oh, oh, yeah. this is our friend. Oh yeah. Just, oh yeah. Just let him go. Just let, let him, him go. Let him dance. It'll be fine. Well, I learned well, on the first one was the first time where I was like, I don't know if I should subject anybody, anybody to yeah. this trip. Oh. And I was on uh US four hundred, southern Kansas. And there was a stretch between Ulysses and Medicine Bow. I might have those wrong, but if you're also paying this much attention and checking a map, <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake. So, uh, but it was that stretch-ish, uh, central to western Kansas, and there was, we, there was no way that we could get to where we were going other than jumping on a four lane. But it was just a small four lane, and we looked in the map, and we were like, wow, who would be traveling here? Also, it's the only route for semis in yeah. southern Kansas. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I actually didn't even know that there was semis behind me because <laughs> I didn't have rear view mirrors or side mirrors. <laughs> and we, we were driving, and also my, my comms didn't work. Mm. So we're driving, and I'm just... La, da, da, well, dee, that might have been before comms. Yeah. First year, no comms. Yeah, there was no comms first yes. year. That's yeah. right. That's why they weren't working. Yes, <laughs> they weren't working. We didn't have them. <laughs> and so I'm just kind of bebopping down the highway, la, la, la. Uh, and and I kind of like, I look, I, somehow I got, look behind me and I was like, oh, I need to move over. So I, I pull off into, uh, down there, um, it's just tons of granaries mm-hmm. and whatnot with, you know, like every six miles is another silo and railroad stuff gotcha so i pull into one of those granaries and then i see adam (laughs) driving the ditch (laughs) fly (laughs) passing the semi (laughs) waving his arms or this is tyler and adam uh and and i'm like what is going on and i pull over and everybody kind of pulls into the um that parking lot and adam's like did you like no Anything? What do you mean? It's like, so a semi was driving, it was on my bumper. And Adam's for a like, while, probably. For a long time. Adam's like, <laughs> he's, he, he thought he hit me. <laughs> he, Adam was waiting for me to shit out. Out the back. Yeah, it's like pit maneuver yes. style. Yes. Well, and then another semi went to pass that semi. Yes. And then another semi was coming from the other side of traffic. So now there were three semis stacked on a two-lane road because it had gone back down to two-lane mm-hmm. now. And, uh, and then uh, there, so there was three semis. One was leaning over in the ditch. 
There were, you, there did was, you notice that at, when I didn't that know happened? Any of this. <laughs> okay. None of this. <laughs> nope. I, this is what I'm like. This is the coolest thing I've ever I done. I love old Jeep song. And then I think at that time mm. was when my starter switch shorted out. There's some flames came out from underneath oh, the dash. Makes sense. And I was like, oh, whatever. Hey, this is great. Oh, here, hold on. That's here. And, oh, then I just, and then I just hear all, horns honking, people screaming. Uh, well, I didn't hear any of that, actually. <laughs> so I pull over. That's what had happened, but it had forced like the entire run of Jeeps. Mm-mm. Is this that one's mine? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm getting on it. Yeah. Uh, it had forced <laughs> that entire run of Jeeps into the ditch because they're coming down the highway and they just see three semis wide coming down a two lane road. And then that was so. Then at the next stop, the next part store we went to, somebody bought me one of those stick on mirrors. So I would flip the wing window out, oh, and, and I'd the, stick it on there. So yes. if I needed to check, I would flip that out. I'd check and be like, all right, nobody's dying. <laughs> but that was when I was it. like, we got to get this dialed in before I start saying, yeah. hey, guys, come on to the trip of a lifetime. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Yep. So, trip of a lifetime because it's the last one. <laughs> right. This is the exit ramp. I, I, for a couple of years, I just had one of those little vanity things that you bought at the gas station mm-hmm. that you stick on. the. Well, I have no visor, so I had to like wedge it. And the, the pull non it, pull it down. headliner had had that wedge and threw it. I found it, whittled the stick to get it balanced <laughs> in just right. So, yeah, that was my mirror for a while now because uh, uh, Sean, he gave me one of his mirrors. So what I a nice one. guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I awesome. might have took it from him, but he doesn't, <laughs> With, look, he doesn't need it. He anyways. doesn't use it anyways. Yeah. He doesn't, no. 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 I get it. Hey, Sean, a mirror when Sean's very phone. similar to me on my first trip. Yeah. On, on this trip. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I would agree. Seems like he's dialed in for this one, though. Yeah, we we definitely did. We had to make up a lot of time because we had lots of stops. Um, so yeah, there check. was. Um, yeah, he didn't. He he'd, we, we call them civilians. He wouldn't want to pass people, which you know, old Smokey gets her done sometimes. And, uh, well, yeah, and can uh, pass the old fifty nine and Paula V eight. Oh yeah. V8. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. that thing she'll will do wheelies. She'll get, she'll get her done. So, yeah, it was. Uh, so he he has overdrive, so he can definitely do seventy in that truck for sure. Really? Oh yeah, comfortably. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's that sound? He, like? he doesn't. Yeah, what, um, I, I don't think he understands how close he is to the, just like something like this little <laughs> tiny, you know, <laughs> something tie rod, little tiny tie rod bolt getting loose and. <laughs> but he's oblivious. I feel like at 50, it's manageable, <laughs> still dangerous. Oh. At 70, it's the end. Oh, yeah. like, well, right? I know how shitty these things are built. At so. 88, you get that Cadillac float in oh, a wagon. At 88. Yeah. You get a float. Oh, my God. <laughs> is that when you start going back in time, or is that no flux that's when I would just get. That's when I would give up. 88 <laughs> miles an hour in an old wagon? I just let go of the Throw wheel and be like, Again, might clearly. be part of the reason the transmission didn't hold up. Yeah, I don't I don't, really I don't have overdrive either. So Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel is what you no, meant well. to say. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that meme where of Jesus with all the steering wheels that he's taken. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but he, I, he I do have I do shines. have overdrive, so I'm trying to hit a hundred. So you do point. have overdrive now? I do have one. Oh man, shit. if only you were coming on this trip. I feel like we should have convinced him. I feel like he's coming on the trip. I just maybe we, do we do we need to have a like a, a big luncheon or something with Stephanie to just oh, like, yeah. Well, I don't know if she really gives a fuck. To be honest, so I'm just trying to use that as I like how I like how luncheon Luncheon was your go to. to Bottom of that. (laughs) What if we have a nice buffet of cheeses and? Well, it's it's during the summer. Summers are not too bad. So right. Uh, So he's school. school Now he's getting excited. He's talking about. (laughs) He's like, I got that overdrive. I don't don't want to deal with Sean. We're not even going to air this podcast. This was really just too good. So. Basically, what you're telling me is you need me to have enough room on the trailer to drag yours to the starting line <laughs> and then to well, the second Well, line. technically, I'll already have shit to Indiana. Oh. Oh, well, so you have this planned out. I'm going to bring something. I, this well, is the most Dustin I'm, Price I'm, move I've ever heard in I'm my in, life. Well, <laughs> I'm still... I, well, the thing is, is I don't know if it'll be Old Smokey. I've got a two-way that's itching that's f- for a ride. I think that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I got a new frame for it. Uh, the two A's. Yeah, Tyler. There's some fuckery, so Tyler has to fix a little part of it. But that frame's way better than the frame that I got on it currently. 
And you just so. have to quick do a frame swap? Well, oh, the motor's man. got a thing, too, so I got to have the motor looked at. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of a this tick. This sounds like the perfect one. It's got a little tick. Why don't you bring both? Put Tyler uh, in the 2A. You Tyler, the well, Tyler's got his own. Wait, is he coming? No, he wouldn't come. Well, I just feel like he, I mean, he's been hanging out. He's been like kind of <laughs> he's your been around. chief. Well, yeah, he, yeah he's, well, he, I mean, I, he'll be definitely in Indiana yeah. for sure, you know. So. I feel like that's real close. <laughs> it's real close. I just love how, you know, like we do all this, like to try to like plan it all out. And then like, it's going to be day two. And there's just going to be like the ragtag bunch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> we heard there's a rally. <laughs> but that, that's kind of the thing, though. Like once you're in, you're in. So you kind of right. get this like, uh, were you vaping and cigaring? That's, That's the same. what I do, bro. <laughs> The old double dip. It's a I lifestyle, mean, bro. I didn't mean I also, to double take that. I also have a Zin in. I'm ready to I'm here to party. We're here for the show. That's right. Well, I, have, I have to control all of you monkeys, so I, I need a lot of I have extra to, help. We, I got to be completely honest about how this whole podcast was going to lay out. The other day, uh, Coop texted me. He said, Pat's coming up on Friday. It was open for Friday afternoon. <laughs> I said, uh, I said, tell him to bring his favorite bottle of whiskey, too. <laughs> no, for, first it was <laughs> oh boy, nervous face emoji. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then it followed up with, tell him to bring his favorite bottle of bourbon, mm. and we'll do the same, because it's better the devil you know <laughs> than the devil you don't know. <laughs> and this way, I know what I'm getting myself into. Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. No, it's good to be here, and it's good to have some whiskey for sure. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So what do you, besides Epic, what do you what else you got kind of going on? Well, big thing, dude. Honestly, and I think that we were still last podcast we were still kind of trying to get our feet wet with the new building. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, man. Like uh, January was we rode the high off of SEMA <laughs> through Christmas, <laughs> which is the shittiest month yes. of the year for a oh, shop yeah. owner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we got into January, and, we're, and it was like, positive attitude, it's going to get you through. <laughs> positive attitude, it's going to get you through. And it just felt like it was, I was running the gauntlet. Wait, wait, wait. Not to, <laughs> not to interrupt. <clears throat> but the positive attitude is going to get you through. Was that exposed to anybody? Oh, or no. was, I, was I the one that had to hear that uh, the lack of positive? We're fucked, Cooper. Cooper, we're fucked. I'm in Florida. So did my- you take it out on anybody during your... Your training sessions? I got to say that I fucking... That's <laughs> that probably cool. why I've been struggling with a rough back. Because a little extra hard, just a little extra, just a little extra squeeze. You. Yeah. I tapped. I tapped 10 minutes ago. <laughs> no, well, you've been passed out for eight of them. I didn't know. Pussy, come on. Let's go. Yeah, no, it was definitely... It was a, it was a rough time, man. Because we... You know, and somebody brought this up, uh, mentioned it to me when I was struggling through mm-hmm. all this shit. And they were like... You know, when you hire, you think you're so busy, yeah. and you hire a person that you're going to pay 40 hours mm-hmm. a week to do a job, and you're like, well, that's fine, because I got like 60 hours yes. worth of work. Well, you were maybe only 30 hours mm-hmm. stacked. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So now you got a guy standing around for 10 mm-hmm. once you bring him on, and then you're like, and then, so then you go from, well, if I had a guy, I could get this work done yeah. and, and generate some revenue, to now I got a guy... Uh, Sorry, the guy. I just got a text from one of the guys in the shop. There's some like gambler run this weekend. Run what oh, you yeah. brung type of deal. Mm-hmm. They're out in the junkyard right now. And Trying to find something. What's oh, up with the Jimmy out here? Oh, no, <laughs> Richard. Maybe they were seeing smoke signals. Richard, out the, the, the Jimmy. The Jimmy doesn't run. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, when does that ever mattered? <laughs> right, fair. Um, and so that that same kind of concept was true when you add eight thousand square feet of a building space man if only i had that space i could manage these projects and i could get all this stuff done yeah well yeah you can get it all done and if you have the guys to do it and the guys to be effective wow. like it's not hard to do it and you get but then quicker. all of a sudden you realize you're yeah. like man now i got this way bigger nut to yes. cover and i have to be this much more productive so you could do all the forecasting you want oh, yeah. everything looks great on paper and so january was also that like reality growth snap mm-hmm. of like the phone wasn't ringing as much for the general repair shop yep so i had everybody out on the other side uh, working through these big projects yeah. but yeah. then they're getting done yeah so they're like well i need another bunch of big projects in here yeah. and i need break jobs yes so it was it was super stressful and then we own a marketing firm too like just mm-hmm. marketing 
And um, like some of our contract, well, our contract changed with one of our biggest uh, clients. Mm -hmm. And then it was, you know, Cooper. That I was the most gentle way you've ever phrased that. And <laughs> I, pre I appreciate that for yeah, the yeah. podcast since I'm sure they all watch. <laughs> <laughs> you better. And, uh, and I called Cooper up and said, we got to, we got to change. We got to make some things happen. And Cooper stepped up, um, helped it, helped us kind of get that standing on its two feet. Adam stepped up, got Max built, kind of mm -hmm. uh, plugging and chugging. And I, like, definitely, I was kind of in the background doing the the puppet master shit. Yeah. Like, hey, let's just let's keep feeding the funnel. And and things have been good. It's been stressful as shit. That's probably the other reason yeah. why I'm like podcasts are great. Yeah. But I got to get some of the other the groundwork oh, yeah. done. Well, yeah, you go through this cycle, too, with uh, at least in the service industry, where you get you know, sell, 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 busy, 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 stop selling because you're busy, Right. back to selling, busy, busy, busy. You know, it's, it's always this up ebbs and flows yeah. with it. And then, you know, especially if two of those or three of those service industries have the same dip, it's like, what the hell Fuck! is going on? Fuck! <laughs> well, that's, actually, that, it's, yeah. that's the expression that you get. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I learned, and it's like evolution of business, business ownership, too, is like I become the weakest link in this whole deal because, and you know, you're, you've got yeah. several businesses, too. Like if I am the one that's helping right the ship in any one section of the business, the business is actually more unstable than if I train that position to know how to identify and work through those oh, positions. Yeah. And so like our, we, we've got uh, Ashley and Riley up front. Ashley handles like lift kits, general repair and maintenance. Mm -hmm. Riley handles like the long-term stuff. And so like when Riley's, Riley can schedule out three months. Yeah. If he can't, he's got to pound the pavement. Gotcha. Yep. And Ashley, same way. She should be out two or three weeks. If not, like, you know, work with me, work yeah. with Cooper. What lever yeah. do we have to pull? And yeah. that's Travis Troy. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. We hired a business coach nice. too earlier this year, and like that mm -hmm. was, that was amazing because nice. I don't know what I don't know until I don't know it. <laughs> and everybody around here is like, "What do we do?" And I'm like, "Fuck, smile." I don't know. <laughs> Grab your ankles; so, it'll be fine. You know, you, you'll try to latch on to guys, and I, like any entrepreneur, yeah. Get yourself somebody that is a mentor, a friend, yeah. so somebody to help guide you. Um, because anybody that says, I'm self-made, mm -hmm. I've done this 100% on my own, I, you know, no, I've you pioneered need... the way, run from those folks. Yeah, you, right. you definitely need to hire people that you trust to do the job, accept the mistakes that are going to happen, because mm -hmm. that's all part of learning. And then eventually, those calls are going to be less and less. Because they're gonna, and you just They'll gotta trust them, you know. Uh, and, you put and, them in place yeah. for a reason. Yes. Yep. And that that was a that was a big thing for me because you want to be like, well, I can do that better. <laughs> well, stand back. It's just kind of like raising your kids. Like, let them fuck up. Yeah. But but hold them accountable. For sure. Hey, like just so you know, like we can't do this again, right? You know, but like so. What did you learn here? What did we learn here? What, yeah. Where can we go? What yeah. can we do? And then all of a sudden, you, you, that's when the snowball starts rolling. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can, and for me, like, what I'm really good at, team morale, doing fun shit. Well, I can't do any of that if we don't, if we don't make any money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we don't, like, but I'm, How do you like throwing <laughs> rocks? <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> They're going to throw them at me. Yeah. So yeah. it's been one of those deals where I've learned a lot about myself in this growth phase for the business. And I've let everybody trust their position. Yeah, that's good. Mm. And so what have I been up to? Well, I guess a lot <laughs> yeah. of personal discovery yes. more than anything well, that's else. That's good. That's good. But it's going to any good. ayahuasca trips. <laughs> yes. You have to go in a dark room for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. And that's the thing. Like, you, you're like, oh, they're like, oh, you don't see the darkness without the light. Yeah. But it, like, there's no fucking. That's so true. That's uh, Well, there's, I mean. You you missed a couple trips. You missed Moab. Now you're you're, you're missing mm -hmm. Jeep Beach. Well, so you know we got Epic coming, but what do you what else are you? So got we've on the got horizon? well a little bit of mix of everything. So next month, Coop and I are actually going to uh, the British Isles. 
So we're going on a oh, nice. cruise Going back there. to the homeland. I'm going nice. back to see my people. That's nice. right, yeah. <laughs> that don't tan. So nice. I'm, I'm going to drink a real Guinness, Guinness and maybe kiss a Blarney Stone. I don't Ooh. really know. Mm. Like but that's a, a project that we've got Ar- going Ireland's with, awesome. with Advance. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, we've got uh, Adam Shinners, if you're uh, watching. I'm looking to you to take care of me out there. A buddy of mine moved back there about a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, oh, when you're in the homeland... I'll come show you around Dublin. Mm-hmm. I so feel that, like he's going to show us some shit that's not on the. Ice oh yeah, that's like, not going to be on the there's map. There's a sweet speakeasy there. Yeah, you might want to check out. What's it called? Can't tell. All right. Oh, I like that even better. <laughs> actually, it's probably right. a secret knock. That's what we're. That's what uh, I'm going yes. for. So the, yes. that's with our advanced friends and um, the the TechNet Nation. So we'll be out there with them, uh, and then of course we come back and it's epic. And then it's Crawl for the Cure. We're going to be up in nice. Gilbert, Minnesota. It's their 20th anniversary. When's that? Uh, the, Is it not Father's uh, Day? I looked through my phone. <laughs> Father's Day? No, it's not Father's Day. No, it's, it's yeah. in July. July. Um, July. It's the 15th-ish. Gotcha. So, Are you doing any of the Apple Valley Farm stuff? Well, I would be doing uh, Father's Day, but that's when we'll be on Epic. Uh, there's the July one, I'll late be July. A, I'll be in July. I think I'll be there for a buddy of mine. He's getting married. And he's doing his like his little reception there, another ultra four racer. So who's uh, that? Uh, Eric Blaze. Oh, yeah. So awesome. so he's having a little little uh, get together on Thursday, and then come back Friday, Saturday kind of thing. Well, yeah, I'd love to be a part of that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Who are we pointing at? Fucking I'm pointing police. at Nicole. Hi. Fucking police <laughs> here or what? But Shit. no, the police don't show up till <laughs> later. That's a later thing. <laughs> the police. <laughs> Oh, too funny. No, uh, well, that's cool. That's yeah, good. that'll be good. And then SEMA, we got a big thing with Techmetric at SEMA. We'll yeah, be, that'll be big. Um, nice. Taking a road trip out there, stopping at some shops on the way to. The week before, yeah, we'll yeah. be. I don't. Uh, we could talk about it, right? Yeah. Hey, if if we can, hey, if, like you should have told us. For all of our listeners. <laughs> right. Yeah. We got yeah. Rogan numbers over here. Right. Yeah. Yes. The, yeah. the 658th uh, <laughs> best automotive podcast in all of the land. <laughs> one one guy is going to be like, what? Well, talking. we've been building this really awesome Bronco, and I'm excited to have that family on the podcast too. Yeah, there we are. Um, because it, the gist of it is when the. The sun was, I think, five, and I just we just got the whole story. I might mm-hmm. butcher it, but we'll get them on here, and they'll they'll dial we'll it correct in for it. us. We'll have to write but, a redaction. Uh, a good family friend willed this Bronco to him when nice. he passed, when he was five, and he's now like twenty something. Okay. So his whole life was designing this Bronco, mm. like building it, saving out money, it, figuring out lo- how he wanted it. Yeah. Yep. And he came into our office two years ago, and he and. Flopped down basically a scrapbook with spreadsheets and everything and magazines. And he's like, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. And so we've been making that happen, which like that's that's fulfilling yes. to me. Like that's the, oh, yeah. the coolest stuff on the yeah. planet. And we should be done. They're actually down at the Bronco Celebration down in uh, Tennessee right now. I mm. think it's Tennessee. Um, and and yep. they're uh, when they come back, I, we're thinking like two more months and it'll be on the road. They'll get some road miles on it. We'll get it back in. We'll get it cleaned up. But that'll be the center point for this tech metric booth out at SEMA. And then the week before, we're going to hit up a bunch of different shops uh, on a pretty extensive road trip, mm. tailgate party. Yes, and, uh, awesome. Yeah, so that'll be really fun. Yep. Uh, what's August? What have we got in August? I, 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 sounds I like I got a fucking book something. I, turn yeah, on I was just going to say, I could put some in the schedule. There. It's, uh, it's Cap Fat uh, 2024, where I my birthday. Don't you, two, there's got to be um, like right. Rock Fest or Country Fest or some shit going on. Well, there's Country Jam there. typically, but we, jam. We're, we're pulling out of that this year. Oh, boy. Um, I know. We're analyzing our options. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, We'd and love to be a part of it. Throw them some money. All right, so we got <laughs> Bad Hacks Venmo. Is sponsoring. Venmo at <laughs> Epic Willie's Adventure. You drag DC up here, let no. us fix it, and then maybe we'll yeah. have the cash. Oh, the we'll DC. just have to put that Country Jam <laughs> fee on there. DC. Why is there a twelve thousand dollar <laughs> surcharge? Oh yeah, DC uh, definitely. Yeah, it needed a t- it needed a table up here. Oh, oh. Yeah. No, that's 
Uh, the, I, I, I'm think I, I'm going to have that ready to go for that trip to Apple Valley. Okay. That, that's again one of those you want deals us to where pick it up next I, week. No, I'll oh, just, yeah, I can yeah, rip it together. Yeah. Yeah, probably in the first week. I, I already have all the shit. I just got to. I literally, it's sitting outside with all the parts sitting in there. I spent more time probably. When that came to be though, it. that was 14 days before Moab. When you were like, "Hey, can you?" I think build we a- were at the God Country. The racing Car association show thing in lacrosse you guys came down for that yep it was literally 14 and, days and i was up. yeah and i was i was in the middle of doing my Chevelle one or? no a one ton swap on my jk and mm-hmm. uh another good buddy of mine brian knutson uh Shout had out sold brian yeah he had just sold his scrambler Oh yeah, and we had been on a pretty good run of Moab trips, and he was like, "I, I'm not going because he doesn't have Rick. He does, and he doesn't want to ride with someone. Like, what the hell? Right, that's dumb. So I'm like, well, I got my this TJ that I started building for my kid when he was like 14, and then it turned into like a rock crawler, and I should just like just not have that be his first vehicle. So then I stopped literally just stopped building it and shoved it outside and then it was like oh maybe maybe i'll just have them throw that shit together because i'm i will not have time to do it and then i want i want knutson to come well so. then it, well, that was i mean was whatever debilitated it now was that the first like major something it had because like it, it, it i bought that jeep for a thousand bucks yeah i just bought one for a thousand bucks yes it's the the the, the guy i mean the person that drove it and owned it before uh just literally just drove it did nothing uh-huh. to it um the oil filter had rust on it so oh, it yeah. got it got a name dc uh we'll do that uh, dirty c u n it had a, see you a, next a, tuesday well, everybody what, so i had so it obviously had the typical rust on the frame it had the typical rust on the rockers, everything else being in the Midwest because it's awesome living out here with all the salt and crap that they threw on the roads. Thank you. Yes. It's snowing right now. Yes. I know. It did snow I today. It. it was 70 yeah. a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah. Snow, snow today. today. But, and I'm surprised they didn't put that liquid shit down on the roads for the oh, yeah. flurries. Uh, so, bought it for 1000 started tearing it apart. Thought it'd be a great little project for my kid. Uh, so put, I'll put a cage on it, let him weld it up. It'll be cool. Oh, and yeah. start doing I some fender. That. Then I'm like, oh, I want to do some fenders and some wheels, tires. I bought all new shit. Start putting together. And then I'm like, oh, God, this thing is, there's no way. This is too, he's going to get pulled over. As a kid, yeah. immediately get fucking pulled over on this thing. There's no point in dry having them doing this, so I'm like, I end up getting them uh, a different rig to start off with. So it kind of sat. So yeah, that that turned into uh, the 10 day TJ. Oh yeah. Uh, for you guys, it got out of control pretty quick. <laughs> uh, but it, it may have turned out to be a pretty cool rig. I mean, it's a perfect Moab. Yeah, well, like That's, zero lift. Yeah, thirty seven. It had uh, factory Rubicon springs from Eric. He that was a zero mile springs he had yeah. bought a tj rubicon and did a lift immediately so those springs were brand new uh so it had zero left but on 37s right and it was built and like it, and it, the long, idea long was arm, long arm built like i think you had said you're like i just want to hold the, the throttle to the floor and just oh, not dude. worry oh about yeah it. it's a uh, rev limiter on that thing i've tried to kill that motor a and, lot well cause, like day one you're like I'll just blow the motor up and we'll put an LS in yes. it. And we were all here. We were like, we're going to do an LS. Yes. Stop. I can't it wait. Won't. So it excited. doesn't. It that does bitch won't die. die. That will not it die. It will not die. It's, uh, it sounds like a diesel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. lives off the rev limiter. <laughs> well, and it will we, not die. We, I think we, we were new to knowing you. Yeah. But we got it all like ready to go. I think like it's miles it had was the mailbox and a little rock pile up front of the shop. <laughs> yes. You showed up with like on Friday to pick it up with Bloody Marys. Yes. You had all the fixings yes. for Bloody Marys. So that was like we were like, all right, we're done for the day, everybody. Mm-hmm. And we just set up a folding table in the shop. Mm-hmm. 
We had Bloody Marys. We ran you through all the shit that we did. Uh, flexed it on the rocks, put it on the trailer, had another Bloody, and we're like, I think we're good, right? Oh, yeah. And you're like, yeah. That's... And I was like, all right, so like, what are you going to do before you go out tomorrow? And he's like, <laughs> nothing. I'm going to Billings Canyon. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. And I, and I had heard of that because I got buddies <laughs> out in Grand Junction. Uh -huh. And I was like, you're going to Billings County oh, like, yeah. first? Yes. And he went out there and then... And, and again, yeah. anytime a, a client like takes something out of here, I just have this. I had this anxiety with uh, what we were just down in Odessa mm -hmm. a, a week ago with Mike Forrest. When I don't hear from you, I assume <laughs> the worst. Uh, you may but, be dead. We don't for, know. What was it? Uh, uh, another client. He's like, I had uh, lunch with him on Tuesday. He's like, you call that free roaming paranoia, Phil? Oh, and yeah. I was like, yeah, well, I got that one. Yeah. And. You sent no, me a it, picture of it rolled oh, over. Yeah, yeah I've, I've got a good buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, he's, he's good friends with uh, Knutson, uh, Wally, who lives in Grand Junction. And uh, he's the most unassuming guy. He looks like he would he, he, like walk out of a country club. But he's, okay. he's, a, he's a monster behind the wheel, and he's got a buggy and stuff. Um. He took. He likes to put people on lines and see what happens. Good lines, nah, uh, really bad lines. I just because any you know, line, any line to just. But which uh, it's, it was fantastic. Uh, really, the DC was awesome. Uh, the, the, honestly, the only thing I had to do was tighten up like one hydraulic line. I remember that because it, it uh, like dripped. No, other, I remember other, you other, saying other, that. Other than that, it, it ran like a champ. Uh, and he, and of course he puts me on this, this ledge, which there is a million different other lines to go up this ledge on Billings. He's like, ah, oh, just, you know, get up there. And he's like, oh, <laughs> after, after, it. after it was kind of a, it was kind of a flop. It wasn't really a roll. It was kind of a flop. And he's like, well, oh, never, no one's ever rolled there before. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Everybody flopped. Oh yeah. Oh, Nobody's yeah. rolled. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I was probably a little too high on one part because, I mean, again, zero lift. We're running like Bilstein shocks or something that yep. have like. Bilstein's 5100. That, that, that but they're like eight inch. Right. Yep. Eight inch travel. Like it has, if, if I did coils, it'd have travel for days below. And that's really what the, what the problem was. It just didn't have enough drop. Tra up. drop. Yeah. Yep. That was it. And it, so it was really just. By just cheaping out and not doing coilovers, uh, but again, it was ten days, and, and oh it was supposed God. to be this it was supposed to be just slapper together, and then it turned into a thing. <laughs> but you know, well, that's how impulse buying happens. Oh yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were definitely at the register with that one. I don't know. This is what we got to do. Oh, yeah. I knew. I remember we were like, well, we can't put any money into this thirty. And then we were yeah. like, and and nobody on the planet was like, we'll send you a built forty four. Yeah. So we're like. Do you got a housing? Yeah, let's I remember get, get track, get Dana Track 44. Anything? Uh, what do we got? Pieces. Like, uh, we'll build. Yeah. So, like, we got. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I lost some friends on that one, I think. But, <laughs> but it was worth it. And we did it. And and to this day, I love Redneck Ram. That's mm -hmm. my go to mm -hmm. on hydraulic ram assist for sure. And ne I never won't be. Love Matt and the crew. Um, but every single project that I put uh, Redneck Ram on has needed that like three quarter turn titan after a oh. first fucking thrash oh gotcha yeah. and yours was yeah. the start of it oh yeah and so then I, I was actually just talking to ashley today and she's like yeah well uh supposedly all i needed was uh just a quick little turn oh yeah on the on the line yeah that's that's it's part, part of, of the fucking thing you yeah know? It, it is you know no, it was, it was uh, that's a fun, fun Jeep. It's perfect for, especially Moab. Uh, it's like the perfect wheelbase and everything yeah. else. Slow speed crawling. Yeah, I mean, being a sport, I mean, it should, ideally it could have a different transfer case just for the crawl, but right. it's so capable it can. It just works. It just works. It's kind of fun to fuck around on. You get to name you know. mountains. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Too bad, uh, yeah, Sean. Does not own that place anymore, so I'm guessing the. But do you still down. get the naming rights to the mountain? I feel like you. Do. I hope I so. You do. I, well, I still have Sean's shirt. 
So, Sean, <laughs> that's uh, all it takes. if uh, you want that shirt back, uh, you got to climb a hill. Actually, he may just <laughs> not be wearing any shirt. <laughs> like, oh, Poor I pants. lost that shirt <laughs> and pants. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. Knock, knock oh, yeah. on your door. But and, John, uh, that yeah, was, we need to get him on the podcast, too. It, it, was, it was kind of funny oh, yeah. because it was one of those things where this is at one well, of the ladies. Easter Jeeps. Uh, this is a big party where there's a lot of industry people out there. And I don't know how many people are around this huge bonfire that he I made. I just saw that. It was a, it was a bat. Uh, what did we call it? It was a Bad Axe and Max built Mel, mix. Like mixed deal. Yeah. But there was a was lot like ba- of people. Bad Ma- I think it was Bad, bad Max. Max or something. Uh, the Bad Max party. Party or something. But it was huge. That was good. And there's a lot. Of in- and no one Thanks. wanted to do this like Sandhill thing that he had. Right. Like, I don't give a shit. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was gnarly. I know I have a video yes. somewhere. Oh, yeah. But that thing <laughs> was like, it, basically, it was like the stairway to heaven. Oh, yeah. But because yeah. it was like the shale kept breaking. Yeah. And stuff. Like, it was like, oh, it, was it was gnarly. It was awesome. But we made it up there. To yep. Had to kill a couple uh, endangered trees and stuff. But, and but I like how Sean, Sean tells the story, <clears throat> like, uh, like how. The elders told the story to the youngins. He's like, you see that mountain up there? Oh, yeah. This was straight out of Star Wars. Also, he wasn't wearing any pants. No, no. But he's like, you see this mountain? You see this right here? You see the sunset? This is Pat's mountain. It's like, all right. Thunder pussy. Thunder thunder pussy. (laughs) Dirty, dirty cunts, thunder pussy. I'm like, I knew the name. As soon as he said we could call a name, I'm like, I know a name, but I'm going to get it. And the best part was uh, our buddy at the time, Tommy Rada. He's a phenomenal uh, graffiti artist. (laughs) If you've been in my office, uh, he's the one that has done that. that If you've been on a conference call with us. Mm -hmm. And and we were, it was like, well, how do we commemorate it? (laughs) And Tommy was like, we go get plywood. (laughs) And some I'll, spray I'll, cans, yeah, we'll get and I am going to write it. And for that entire <laughs> week of of Moab, Utah's yes. Easter Jeep Safari, it was yeah, uh, DC's only, yes, Thunder Pussy. Yes, he'd yeah. only put it up for e- EGS every <laughs> year. Uh, I mean, he man, he made a killing at that place. It's oh. fan- good for him. Absolutely. For, again, I mean, tells the story with no pants on, he and he's is, like, "How would you like a nerd rope?" Yeah. I'm like, "All right, <laughs> sounds like a good plan." He is, He's a <laughs> business savvy guy. He's yeah, got no, her down. he really is. Yeah, he's really got has, her down, he has man. Industry figured out. Yeah, he's, yeah, it, it's golden. He's a good guy. I think we have a good story for one of the times that I met him um, out in Canton, Ohio. Where is he now? <laughs> I know he's not. He's in North Carolina. Um, the Kakalaki, North yeah, Kakalaki. Yeah. Yeah, didn't but, he get like an RV and just start traveling a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think he, I think he's him. in in the hills of North Carolina at the moment. Mm-hmm. With a really nice spot to be able to park that RV. I mean, he's the guy nice. that introduced me to Mylar bags. I didn't know anything about him until mm. I met him, and now you know, <laughs> it's an industry standard. So I appreciate that. No, appreciate you, man. He's good. Mm-hmm. Good, good guy. Fun. That was a fun little trip. That yeah. Was good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how you say like, oh yeah, that was <laughs> fun. Little that trip. was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and the spark, and the thing is, is like, uh, I've had other people drive that TJ, and they're like, "Man, this is the most stable, yeah, you know, TJ they've ever driven." Does I mean, it just really is. It's really good. Well, and um, it was like it was a stressful like undertaking, but at the same time, between like what I, thankfully, you had trust in me. Yeah, yeah, because it was like. I think I know exactly what we need to do to yeah. be able to make anybody get behind this wheel yeah. and be able to point and shoot. Yeah, and, but and I, Bob, Bob. I was going to say yeah. a big shout out to Bob yeah. Liebenhagen from TNT Customs. Because, mm-hmm. like, that man was my mentor for everything suspension related. Holy shit. <laughs> we have a dog. There's a dog in here. <laughs> hey. Oh, goodbye. Bye. We don't have a dog uh, anymore. Lost him. <laughs> Lost her. But, <laughs> like, that's. Truly, if we didn't have that, I, I think that we would have been in a lot different position. No, it's, uh, and at this point now, I mean, the frame was suspect beginning with. There's yeah. a lot of kind of fab into it, but that's really what's left with that is to just kind of go full buggy with it. Yeah. And just do a, do a chassis and a lightweight buggy. I mean, it's, 40, it's built 44s and 37s. Yeah, and just do a light buggy with it. Yep. 
But I'll keep just thrashing on it when I, whenever I drive it. And uh, keeps, it, keeps surprising people because they're like, what the hell? That can't you know? do that. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, oh, I'm in a buggy and yeah, I'm fucking doing the bullshit, same bullshit. Right. You know? I mean, I have popped those... Uh, those sh- I should probably just put limit straps on it until I do coilovers, but why don't we just I, do but I, again, I'm just like, why? I'm not gonna do coiler. I'm not gonna do a fucking full chassis. So it's one of those cycles where like, why spend money when you could just when you're gonna redo it? Right. Deal. So we should just pick it up. Yeah. It's just we'll just pick it up. I'll you just, just I'll just up. have fun. It'll be a fun thing. I'll just get. It's not you like got, uh, Apple Valley is not. Yeah, I don't. I I got a. Ra- out of all my vehicles, I don't know how many goddamn vehicles I got. I want to say 12% of them run because so I broke something. I like so numbers. We've, so we've got uh, Epic Willys on the books. Yep. We got a TJ build <laughs> with a new frame. That's what I heard. Yeah. I just want to make sure. I'm At least this was all documented. Right. You yeah. were just yeah. sitting around a campfire oh, yeah. talking shit oh, yeah. and not recording I just it. want you to focus on, you know, your Iwa Jeep and Yeah, your I could do Jeep. that. Yeah, I could do that. I mean... How about we sell that trailer of yours? If we sell that trailer... It'd be nice. I got a lot of... Then we can ballers. do the TJ. I've got a lot. I need the, the trailer. Oh, actually, I need the RV sold way I more than the other there. RV. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're not in RV uh, sales. No. We're in a different... Yes, I mean, it's a sweet RV. But if you need a bitchin' hauler trailer... With yes. workshop, yeah. I feel yeah. like we have a special guest. Yeah, check 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 the old oh, uh, find well. find me on the old sure. marketplace. <laughs> we don't have him on a camera, but I mean, oh, I yeah. heard uh, I heard Adam wants a uh, nice enclosed trailer in an RV. Perfect racing setup. Yeah, I do actually. I, <laughs> I actually thought about taking up uh, taking up racing this year. Perfect, perfect. I'll get you all hooked up. Yeah, no, it's big big time. Uh, would you like uh, no, right over there? There's a cup, and we would love to have you a part of our yeah. team. Here. We just supported this uh, podcast. Yeah. 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 So Pat's dropping off TJ. We're gonna build a frame for it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, the funny part is, is I had a I had bought a frame for it. That's funny. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I had bought an LJ frame for it because I was going to stretch it. And then I ended up selling it to another buddy because he cracked his frame dodging a deer and mm. went in the ditch. Was that one of those insurance things? Yes. And then he basically had, well, not even insurance. He, he had bought, he had bought, a, <laughs> had bought a Jeep at a dealership. I love when people laugh and they're like, "Should I say this?" Yeah. And then it's like, "Well, no." Well, he bought, well the to thing, thing is, anyway. to, to be honest, it was it was fucked up. That we had bought this Jeep at a dealership, a nice Rubicon, and like the the week he bought it, he did legit go into a ditch to dodge something, and it fucking broke the frame. So, again, it's an LJ. It's an older vehicle, but he got them to do all the like frame frame swap. So. That's yeah. a lot of money. The so dealership. Oh, no. dealership. I know. Like, like people come to us and they're like, well, like, how hard is it to do it? I mean, it's just a frame. And you're like, wait a minute. Uh, I just mean, so you know, on a 2A, fr- maybe. When the you know, fr- when on the a Model fr- A, we could do it pretty quick. But <laughs> when, the, when the frames broke, <laughs> everything that attaches to the yes. frame is also <laughs> trashed. And, it, the, and, the, and people yes. just look at you. They're like, I don't get it. Mm. And you're like, man. But it... Uh, yeah, no. Go to the no, doctor once. Just tell them, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, oh. I don't know, like, setting the legs simple, no, right? Like I said, DC, what was. all but one goddamn bolt broke. Every single bolt I tried to take off on a body panel or yeah. Yeah. Uh, suspension or anything broke. <laughs> so then you have to drill the fucker out oh, and yeah. fucking do all the bullshit. That oh, was a miserable, miserable, miserable dirty cunt. Well, yeah, and... And that's the that's the pain in the ass. So, like, not to like get too down far down the weeds as far as like what shit costs. But oh yeah, basically, if a bolt breaks, it's a hundred bucks, easy. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I mean, it's a five minute job. Yeah, like, well, I don't you're even putting understand. the bolt in, bro. <laughs> I paid for the bolt replaced, not 
<laughs> your time to fucking uh, drill it out. Right, yeah. Or retap it. I the mean, bowl, what are you the doing? Bowl, it's only 35 <laughs> cents. I don't really get it. Oh, yeah. Well, we had the welder to take all the rest of the shit apart to get to where that bowl attached to. Uh, I don't care. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. We'll broom it then. Yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely guys that uh, now... They won't do repair work unless it's like a 2018 or newer <laughs> because well, they just don't want to deal with we the do bullshit, it. We just tell you know? people we're like, it's expensive. Yeah. And so you know money. what the most expensive project in this shop is? Hmm. A two-way. Could be. Well, it's 90 years old. Well, yeah, but it's 90 years old. And it's archaic technology. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, we know how to do it. What? And and I think that that like that's what boils that's why down you should to. just let the aftermarket motors like get them like fucking diesels and right oh, some also, of those, yeah, those yeah. fucking and, and then they go what, motors what do you mean like the motor well you have one option for this to rebuild the yeah that motor the, is the most expensive thing to deal with yep put a but a one thirty four back in it it's ten grand what do you mean it's just like <laughs> four <laughs> cylinders and it's shitty well yeah but I'll guarantee it's broken half and then <laughs> and we're gonna have to send it some specialist. That does fucking voodoo magic. <laughs> that's able to pin it back together and hope it's good. Can we just put a uh, like a, you know, if we put a TDI in it, yeah, it'll be an extra ten grand, but like it'll last. Yeah, and you'll get sixty miles a gallon. Yeah, you could do something different. Right. What it is a lawnmower engine? Like it's you're almost there. Well, that's what forty two horsepower. Right. If you would like an upgrade, like a, if you'd like an upgrade, some of those lawnmowers <laughs> got forty two horse. I was going to say, if you want an upgrade, we'll just go to Harbor Freight and get a Predator. I'm pretty sure the Predator engine's got more en more horsepower. But it's not OG. I do get a kick when some people want to do, like, a Ford flat or something. And, like, I don't know, you're gaining, like, eight horse. It's just as expensive to rebuild. I don't know what you're doing. I just want this to be noted that that's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> I want, I want a I want flathead you, okay. V8. Look into this camera. I want a flathead V8 in Amos. Right, and I know cool, it will be right. way too much 48 money. 48 horse. Woo! And I will be underwhelmed. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I like your honesty, though. Yeah. It's like confessions. That's you know, right. Just put, yeah, yeah. Put your I have a problem. Well, this is my friend I mean, group. they look cool. Jesus, they, I mean, take they the do wheel. Look cool. That's all I uh, also, cool. friends, do you see any problem with that? <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> I have no problem passing you. <laughs> uh, and my motor did not go outside. <laughs> uh, also, you didn't finish what the last epic. I, well, um, that, that's a transmission, not the motor. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> the motor is absolutely wrong, perfect. He's not wrong. No, he's not. Absolutely wrong. perfect. Absolutely perfect. I mean, if we if you allowed automatics, I think there's an automatic in like 1946. No, I allow <laughs> I allow automatics. Let me just put this over here. I allow automatics, but I think it has to be a two speed power glide. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. The, who's texting? Jack's man's texting me. Hmm. I don't know. We got. <clears throat> Wives and children. I mean, we got everybody's the, everybody's here. here. Yeah, so and what? just like staring yes. it down upon us, like, uh, just a little quick uh, update on the old epic. Since I'm not going, uh, you guys what? are uh, doing off road. Also, he said he was going doing earlier. <laughs> Do it. You're doing an off road park that you're going to bounce off rocks or what? For points for ultra four. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, Pat. Like, it's a we qualifying a run for uh, your uh, uh, 4447. Uh, so if you're well, not there, you can't be in any races next year. Damn it. Yeah. No, I talked to uh, everybody. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, definitely <laughs> talked to the guy. So you, you, I, I know you had mentioned about some kind of off-road park. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaos. Yeah, so we talked to Chaos Fab, um, Chaos Off-Road Park, and we're working with them. We don't know, so they have they've got a spot, but there's a lot of limitations. Black diamonds, black diamonds. Yeah, yeah. so there's a lot of limitations as far yeah. as like <laughs> uh, insurance and blah blah blah. What? But like you need to have sign a sign this cage? waiver, that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lockers? We love AK Wait, uh, Watley and and that whole crew. We don't know where that's gonna look. 
Um, just require everybody to weld their diffs. Let's go. Right. On. We're fine. Are you coming? I didn't say that. Ah. I'll provide a welder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just have to see what happens. And some again. gravel and something else to throw in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be good when you're there. Yeah, it'll be. At least we'll have. Backup. I guess we'll just, we'll just have to. We'll have to talk about it on that night. <laughs> I think we should talk about it at happy hour. Which yeah. I, I think it's now. getting to be about that time. We're getting close. We're getting close. But kudos to us. We did almost two hours of holy smokes. Convo that here. is true. That yeah. is true. I'm proud of us. If, yeah, if, if you are from Wisconsin, definitely go to Crandon Race. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that, a good one. If you want to experience uh, some racing, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, for sure. And see some. But of if the, they want bounce off the rocks, if they want to follow you specifically, uh, on it's Instagram under or Bad the, Axe Productions yeah. uh, is where I'm at, or Patrick Peterson on the old. Facebook, where old people still live. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. That's uh, dumb. Yeah. yeah, my oldest is 22 now, and he's like, yeah, that Facebook's for old people. Yeah, nobody uses that. Yeah. No one does. Yeah, but we do. But we still to do. To be it. fair, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I see my mom post on there, yeah. and I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's how it goes. But, well, yeah, awesome. no, but if, if everybody wanted to experience at least uh, in the Wisconsin area, you'd make your trip out to yeah. Crandon. Yeah, uh, it's a come riot. do it. It's worth uh, it. Camping, whatever. It's a fun time. It's a blast. Uh, they got they got music. They oh, have yeah. races. They yeah. got camping. Sin, lots of sin. Plenty of sin. Oh, yeah. Easy on the oh, sin. Yeah. Uh, there's supper clubs, if you're into that. Supper you know, clubs. You know. Supper clubs. <laughs> If you're following along on you know, Facebook, there are there's, supper there, clubs. I'm sure that's your your target audience. Oh yeah, 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 supper yeah, club guys, audience. Uh, you know, whiskey old fashions, maybe. <laughs> Perfect. All Perfect. right, <laughs> supper club central. Got a fish fry and a old fashioned up there. <laughs> oh man, speaking of old fashions, I got to finish mm. this whiskey and smoke this cigar. Mm. But I appreciate everybody coming out. Coop, thanks for running this shit. For sure, yeah. brother. I just press the buttons. I let you guys talk. Pat. Back in that bag in that bag. Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that bag. Yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit doing. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa. I'm back in that bag again.